In this video, I want to give you five ideas which functions to map your programmable keyboards to if you have some extra function keys for things that might help you. As you probably know, I now mostly use this keyboard as my regular developing keyboard, the ultimate hacking keyboard. And regardless of which one you are using, so there are several, several ones with a similar layout or functionality is what I like about it is that you have fully programmable keys, so you can switch all of the keys, but also as you see, you have an additional uh, modifier keys, especially with some functions that you can just trigger some functions to. How this works, so this is the software, how to program that, is that for um, the functionality, you first of all can change all of the keys as you want. So here, as you see, I changed caps lock to escape, which is really helpful. Uh, but then also on the modifier or the function layer, you can add some additional functionality. So this, I think, is better than just a keyboard that has these additional uh, function keys that just some sometimes sit uh, at the side of the keyboard. Why? Because you don't have to move your hands around. You just have to press a different uh, modifier keys with your thumb and then you're just a little bit faster triggering that. So as a first example, what I want to show you is to change the language. So I usually, well, of course, use a Latin based keyboard. So I use the US international uh, keyboard with alt graphics and no dead keys. And while I'm also learning Russian, so with a keystroke, I can actually uh, change this to type uh, Cyrillic. So with this, that's just, I think, very helpful because then besides the operating system uh, mechanism, you can actually define some function key that is easy to reach for which we then can just, well, change the language. So for this, how this works, you can define an additional uh, key. So you can define some additional keys that you use in this tool here and then use the operating system mechanisms such as I use the i3 window manager to then map this to change your keyboard layout. So I think that's uh, quite helpful to begin with. And as for the next tip, I think this comes quite obvious is that we can just launch some programs that we typically start all the time. So for example, if you would like to start your browser, your email program, your IDE, whatever, this really makes sense to just define a keystroke for that to use a programmable key for this functionality to just start it up faster. I think that's even better to starting up a launcher and typing it in because if you use it that often, it just makes sense to have a single keystroke. You can even take this further and say you have some sort of script that starts up all of the programs and arranges it in a way, like, you know, like in different workspaces for a specific, a specific project. So if you work on some development project and you always open up the IDE, the terminal, the browser in a certain arrangement, of course, you can automate that and then use a single keystroke to just start that up to save you some time and mental energy. And of course, as the next tip, what is also helpful to then have some sort of launcher available, for example, for which you then can just run any other program that you define. If you use the Mac operating system, this comes quite natural to you. Probably you use such a launcher all the time, I guess, but also starting it up with a single um, function key just helps you in order to run some programs that you use kind of often, but not all the time for which you don't have a dedicated key. Then as a next tip, what is also helpful with this regard is to have some sort of calculator available in which you can just quickly type something in that you would like to uh, be calculated where you don't want to uh, type this into Google or while well, you can also use uh, the command line, but this is just a little bit faster for something that you would like to have. And what I also found quite helpful, what I think is another uh, nice tip is to have an emoji selector where you, if you use emojis quite a bit, you can just insert them with uh, very little effort and you don't have to change your cursor or use the mouse to switch to something else. You can actually leave your cursor as it is where the focus is and then just open up this tool and type it in. How this works? Well, it depends on your operating system, which tool or which emoji selector you can you can insert there. But basically what you do, you start up this program also with an additional operating system function and then you map it to a specific key on your keyboard. So I've done this here as well. And I think these selectors just help you to trigger these functions that you use all the time a little bit easier. 
And then as a bonus, if you use a keyboard similar to that, especially what I like about it, again, is this modifier key where you have an additional layer of, well, insert or of uh, pressing some keys, is that you can reach with the modifier key your additional well function keys just much easier such as insert uh, home delete and so on or as you can see here the cursor arrows why is this well because you can reach them without changing your hand position or without looking down because with your thumb you just trigger this additional layer and then you can insert them so as you can see here, I changed the cursor arrows or I arranged them in such a way that it maps the Vim movement. So this comes now very natural to me. And for the left hand here, what you see, this is the, the default um, in this keyboard that you just can change um, the tabs. So you can switch tabs in your browser. You can rearrange, open and close, um, open recent, um, reopen recently closed tabs again. And once you get used to this, I think this just really, really makes sense. Not only from the functionality perspective, but also what I like about this keyboard, that it can trigger all of these functions without looking down and without changing your hand position. I think this is the uh, biggest benefit for such a keyboard. All right, now I'm curious what your favorite functionality or some helpful uh, tips that make you more effective um, are. So just uh, please uh, write into the comments what functionality you typically trigger with some extra hotkey or with a shortcut that you define. And if you found this helpful, I would really appreciate if you liked the video and thank you very much for watching. Bye.